Charlie Pate from Tight Lines Fly Fishing Company and today we're going to be tying a simple foam beetle. This is one of the best flies in my arsenal from about June to the end of the trout season in Wisconsin. Um, the great thing about beetles, I, I feel like trout are programmed to eat terrestrials. So, uh, the materials for this fly are black 2 millimeter ebizote foam. I like the open cell foam. The body of the beetle I use ice dub in an olive brown or a peacock color. Um, a lot of standard foam beetle patterns are tied with peacock, but this is just easier, it's a little shinier, and it's considerably more durable than peacock curl. So you can squeeze a few more fish out of that beetle if you do it with dubbing instead. The hook I tie this fly on is a TMC 102Y in a size 15. I've had great success hooking fish with the wider gap on that black hook. A little egg foam, which I just use for an indicator on top of the beetle. And the legs I tie with root beer crystal flash. So we'll begin this fly by starting the thread and wrapping towards the back of the hook. Now, I'm going to cut out the body for the beetle. Cut about a quarter inch wide strip of the episode foam. And then I'm going to trim one end of it into a, a little V shape. And this will be where I tie in the foam on that V. And if you're tying this fly, you're going to want to do several wraps on that foam to make sure that it holds on. The reason I use this episode foam is it compresses down very well compared to uh, a closed cell foam that's a little harder, a little more dense. So I tied that in and I'm going to wrap back towards the very end of the hook to about there and we're going to be folding this foam over for the body of the beetle. Now we're going to dub the body with this olive ice dub. making sure to cover up all of that foam that we tied in. And now I'm going to fold the episode foam over the back and tie it off. And here's where I'm going to put the legs in. And again, the legs I've used on this pattern, it's just a root beer crystal flash, three strands and make sure you cut it long enough that it's easy to manage in the hand. And I'm going to tie that right where I cinched down the foam and just tie that in by doing a figure eight. Now I'm going to put on the indicator portion of the fly. Um, this will help you see it on the water. The, the black beetle does disappear. So this little bit of a brightly colored egg yarn 
actually aids in seeing this fly on the water. And I'll just do two wraps over that. Pull the foam back and make a little head. And whip finish right behind the eye. Now we're going to have to do a little trimming. So we'll just cut that egg foam. Go like that. Cut the legs. And then I'm going to trim a little head here. And just cut that off and then make the head a little more round. And there's the finished product, Simple Foam Beetle.